Kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me, Me wow. wow. A trip to the store. Mommy and Daddy were doing all their shopping, and they brought the kitty cats along. Spaghetti noodles. Bananas. And fresh fish. I think we might need a second shopping cart. How much longer? I want to go home and play. And I'm really hungry. Wait, looks like we forgot the milk, bread, and tea. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Now we have to pick it all up. While you pick it up, we could get the bread, milk, and tea. Good idea. That way it'll be faster. Well, I think we can trust you with this big, important grown-up job. Right Daddy and I will be waiting for you outside. Mommy gave them her wallet so they'd be able to pay. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie, you go and pick up the bread and pudding. You get the milk and I'll find some tea. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> but the bread wasn't nearly as interesting as the toys. And who cares about milk when there's candy? And speaking of candy... <sighs> candy remembered that she had a very important job to do. But it looked like Cookie might have forgotten that. And Pudding, too. Where's the milk and bread? We have Mommy's wallet. There's enough money in it to buy anything. Milk and bread are kind of boring, but candy's awesome. Pudding, but then what will we drink if we don't have milk? Cups of candy? <laughs> Cookie, if we go home without any bread, then what's Mommy going to make sandwiches out of? Out of a toy bus? <laughs> The kitty cats went to buy bread, but it turned out there were lots of different kinds. Let's just grab this one and go. But that's a cheesecake tart, Cookie. We're just looking for regular bread. Uh, how's this one? I'm pretty sure it needs to be brown. This one, then? That one's round, but the sandwiches that we eat are always square. Look, this one's square and brown as well. All right, that just leaves milk. It turned out milk came in different kinds, too. Strawberry. That isn't right. Chocolate, yum. Nope, still wrong. Well, is this it? That's yogurt, not milk. Uh, it looks like this is just normal milk. Then that's the one we want. Chase's mom was a cashier at the market. Cookie, candy, and pudding, too. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Look at you three big kitties, grocery shopping all by yourselves. We're in the middle of a big, important grown-up job. Oh, those skates are really pretty. I can wear them at the ice rink. Cool. You guys, we got to get some skates. But you haven't got enough money to buy everything. It's either the skates or the groceries. Well, well, then, we'll, we'll take, take the, the skates. skates. Hang on, listen. If we really do this, we'll have skate soup for lunch today. Ready, everyone? Bon appetit. Oh. Ice skate soup doesn't sound very yummy. And I'll bet ice skate sandwiches are even worse. We'd like to use the money to pay for our groceries. That's why we're here. Mommy, Mommy Daddy, Daddy, hey! hey. We got everything. Well done, my little dears. You did your big grown-up job very well. Are you ready for a nice surprise? <laughs> ice rink tickets all around. Mommy and I bought them while you three did the grocery shopping. The ice rink? Awesome! That's what we wanted! But we don't have any ice skates, boys. That's all right. We can just rent skates for you there. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats did great at their big, important grown-up job, but having a wonderful time with the whole family was the most important job of all. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. One winter's morning, the kitty cats looked out the window at the melting snow. The snow is almost melted and the holidays are coming. Will Santa Claus still come when there's no snow anywhere?
Well, I'm sure the Frost Fairy will make more. Santa Claus and the Frost Fairies have a lot to take care of preparing for the holidays. We should invite them to our house then, so they can both get all rested up and then make more snow and presents. Awesome! We're gonna invite Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy to come. Oh, that's very sweet, my little darlings. Daddy and I will be very happy to invite them. <clears throat> right, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'll call them right now. Hmm. Meow. Meow. Santa Claus uh, is oh. Bruno. We're sorry everyone is busy making gifts and snow right now. Please call again later. Happy holiday hugs to you and yours. Uh, I got their machine, but it sounds like they're very busy indeed. Come on, tell us! Are the Frost Fairy and Santa coming over? Well, uh... uh... Yes, they're coming soon. Both of them, tonight. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If we can't get a hold of them, then we'll just have to become the Frost Fairy and Santa Claus. That's a great idea, my darling. We'll be needing costumes then. Oh. oh. But the store was almost out of costumes. I'm worried this costume might be a little bit small. And that one looks like it's way too big for me. This could be a problem. The kitty cats were very excited to greet Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy. bigger in real life. Well, I have to admit that I do love holiday feasts. Oh, just like our daddy does. <laughs> hey, you laugh like our daddy as well. Well, up in the North Pole where we come from, everybody laughs just like that. <laughs> Why don't we have a lovely cup of tea? Now, please be careful. It's hot. Uh -huh. Why did Santa Claus's voice sound just like our mommy's? Oh, that's because Santa Claus really likes cold drinks, not hot. Hot drinks make his voice sound high. <laughs> Let's all do a bring on the snow dance. What do you say, everyone? Snow dance, yeah! And then it will start snowing again! <laughs> it looks like they didn't recognize us, darling. You look really great with this braid. Maybe you should grow one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Santa Claus, you're dancing around like you've got a lot of energy there. It looks like you've probably had enough rest now. Does that mean that you'll be able to make it start snowing more outside again? Um, snowing? Oh, whoa! Ah, get off me, Beard! Hmm. Hey, that's really our daddy! Yeah, and that's really our mommy! I knew it was really you guys all the time! What did you dress up as Santa Claus and the Frost Fairy for? Uh, the real Frost Fairy and Santa Claus were too busy to come over this evening. I think you guys are the coolest Santa Claus and best Frost Fairy ever! <laughs> Everybody, look! It's starting to snow! Looks like this is what Santa and the Frost Fairy were so busy with tonight. Making fresh snow for everyone! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kitties! By the way, Santa Mommy... And Daddy Frost Fairy... Might have something in the sack for you to open! Daddy and Mommy Christmas had brought little gifts for the kittens which they all enjoyed whilst the snow fell outside, making a kitty cat winter wonderland. New Year's Eve. It was New Year's Eve, and the entire family was getting ready to celebrate. Well, kittens, you don't have to go to bed at 9 p.m. You can stay up until midnight and welcome the New Year. For the first time ever, you can celebrate New Year's like the grown-ups do. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Staying up till midnight, New Year's Eve is out of sight! New Year's comes when the little hand and the big hand are both at the top. Looks like all we need to do is wait for a bit. And five minutes later... 
long until New Year's? I'm a little bit bored, guys. We should do something then. Why don't we help Mommy? Mommy, huh? Mom, uh... Mommy! Oh. We'd like to help you out. <laughs> Thanks, my little darlings, but I can manage on my own. All right, let's go help Daddy then. Daddy, need any help? Uh, oh, uh, thanks, my kittens. Uh, but I have to set up the fireworks display outside. Oh. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, and it's not a safe job for kittens. Sorry. Why don't we just watch TV for a while? Then time will probably completely fly. Oh, our favorite pirate show is on. Great. Just then, the clock struck nine. No way! Must be the TV's fault. What? No, it's just that 9 o'clock is the time when we always go to bed. But if I fall asleep, I'll miss the fun. <laughs> hey, guys, we should put buckets of water on our heads like so. Because you can't fall asleep when you're balancing H2O. Yeah, but what if we drop them? <gasps> oh, no. We do not want to be dripping wet when the new year starts, because how you start the new year, well, that's how you'll be the entire year long. Hey, you know what? We should go outside now. It's too cold out there to ever fall asleep. <laughs> how can we start the new year if we're stuck inside an icicle? <laughs> Idea. Why don't we pass the time by wrapping the things we got for our friends for New Year's presents? That way we're bound to stay awake, guys. Wrapping New Year's presents can be a very fun thing to do, but it can also be really tiring. Hey, candy, cookie pudding, midnight's almost arrived. Oh, <laughs> just look. It's a pile of precious New Year's presents. <laughs> Let's just let them continue sleeping. Well, it's quite a shame, but that's all right. We could try for New Year's with the kittens next year. Hmm. Oh! It turns out Candy had set their alarm clock so they wouldn't miss the New Year. Morning, everybody. Oh, no! Did we fall asleep and miss New Year's? There's 30 minutes till midnight, so you didn't miss it. I had a great nap. I'm ready to party! <laughs> <laughs> and, and five, five, and four, and, and three, and two, and, two, and, two, and, and one, and, and then, then Happy, Happy New Year! Year! The kitty cat's friends had managed to stay awake, too. Happy New Year! The kittens exchanged their New Year's gifts. Guess what? Daddy set up fireworks outside, you guys! The kitty cat's first grown-up New Year's Eve was fun, Hurrah! fireworks, and a friend-filled success and none of them felt the least bit sleepy. Snow sculptures! One day, Painter Cat was holding a competition for the best snow sculpture. The winner of the competition will receive an entire box of yummy cookies. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Look at the camera, everyone. Smile, say mice. Mice! Here are your shovels. Now. Imagine the snow is your clay. Just find your inspiration and scout away. Begin. <gasps> I'm going to make a big snow cat. I'm going to make an even better snow cat. So am I. Boris decided to make a snow cat, too. And so did Dart and Cupcake. Um, I think the arms are usually made from sticks. And for buttons and eyes, you can use nuts. I didn't bring nuts. Dart, can I have some? And me, please. The nose can be made from a pine cone. Like this. Whoa! 
All right, let's take a look at these sculptures and see who's going to win these yummy cookies. Me, 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 me. Well, first we have to figure out which is the best sculpture. <laughs> But when Painter Cat saw the row of look-alike snow cats, he had no idea how to choose the best one. No, this is a bit tricky. My snow cat might be the whitest of them all. But they're all made of the same stuff, so they're all the same color. Let's see if we can find any other differences. <gasps> but just then, another heavy snow shower began, covering snow cats and kitty cats alike in a squishy white blanket. Snow all over everything, see? Hey, that hurt. Sorry, I really thought you were my snow cat. Oh! Well, if we're still going to have a sculpture contest, you kittens need to dig out your snow cats. Hmm. But digging snow cats out of the snow is hard. Hey, where's my snow sculpture? It was right here. My snow cat's in good shape. No, it's not. This is all that's left of mine. Oh, no. They're all ruined. <laughs> we should make our sculptures back at home, guys. That way, the snow won't cover them up. But, Cookie, at home, they melt in no time. Then we should make them out of something else, like metal. Metal doesn't melt. Sure, we could, but then they wouldn't be snow sculptures oh. anymore. They'd be like oh. robot things. Well, then... Uh... I don't know, but I think I'm really hungry. Hey, something just occurred to me. Pudding, look. Your sculpture looks like a cake now, doesn't it? Huh? <laughs> That's right, it does. All you need is a little rose on top. Awesome! awesome. I'm going to shape my snow into a beautiful crown for a princess. I'm making a snow rocket ship. <laughs> I'll make a snow clown. Now every kitty cat was making their own special sculpture. Ha-ha! <laughs> Candy made Daddy, Mommy, Cookie, Pudding, and herself. Well, now the sculptures are so different and wonderful, it's even harder for me to pick the best one. Aww. But I do believe I have got the answer. Everyone deserves their own box of cookies for their awesome sculpture. Hooray! We won! I'm so proud of all my cookie winners. That's one of my recipes, by the way, everyone. Oh, I think that it's time for the local news to start. A snow sculpture contest was held today. Cookie, Candy, Pudding, Boris, Dart, and Cupcake were the winners. What a talented bunch of kittens. We're on TV! We're famous now! Everyone loved our sculptures! Turns out Daddy had the great idea to take his competition video to the news station. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! How wonderful that the kitty cats could share their sculptures with the whole town and their prize cookies with the whole family. Space Adventure! One evening, it was snowing so hard that the kittens had to stay in. So bored. We have to find something to do. But what, though? Hey, look! The snow kind of looks like falling stars. Let's imagine we're floating in space. Oh. Awesome! Listen up. We're going on a cosmic adventure. All right! We'll fly with the stars! So, so awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Well, there's no gravity in space, so we should be floating. Ha! Great idea! Let's do it! Gosh, trying to float is really hard. I'm getting worn out fighting gravity. Whew. Then why don't we build a spaceship to fly around in? The kittens used Mommy's yarn box as the ship's body. Then they found some card to use as wings and gathered a funnel, a whisk, and some bagels and stuck them all onto the box. Finally, their spaceship was ready to fly. This is your space captain speaking. Prepare yourselves for takeoff. Space navigator here, ready to take off, sir. Spaceship, uh, uh, mechanic? Starting up the engine, sir. Uh, uh, we're, we're flying! flying. <laughs> <laughs> Comet storm 
directly ahead, sir. <laughs> Space monsters! <laughs> Mommy! Daddy! We thought that you were alien space monsters! <laughs> what have you crazy kittens been doing? Oh, we're just having a big space adventure. It looks more like a big woolly mess. You'd better start sorting it out. It's almost your bedtime. But what about our super cool spaceship? This is our life's work, this ship. Yeah. <laughs> Come in, please. This is Mission Control calling Astro Kittens. I have an important mission that only the best kittens can handle. This space debris must be cleaned up quick, or else it might crash into the cat colony. Do you copy? Over. Loud and clear. The Astro Kitties accept the mission. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> what should we do with all these comets? We'll transport them to Planet Cabinet. <laughs> Kitchen floor asteroid field! Let's put them back into their proper drawers. Uh, I mean, back into orbit. <laughs> Look at these paper meteors! Oh no, they're scattered everywhere! Let's get them to the space station library! Wow, look at them go! And all of this icky space litter needs to be thrown into the garbage bag black hole! Whoa, that's, that's a, lot a lot of space, space garbage. garbage! I know what has to be done! We have to take it on a spacewalk outside! It's cold out in space! You'll all need your spacesuits! <laughs> it's a bunch of weird space monsters. <laughs> nah, it's just us, Daddy. We've totally completed our mission. That's just great. It's time to get ready for bed. Then I'll come tell you a story about the cosmos. Including three astro kitties. So, so awesome! awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy and Daddy made a very special starry sky in the kitten's room. And the kittens listened to their dad's Astro Kitty stories and looked forward to dreams that would be out of this world. Snowy slopes and snowboards. One snowy morning, the kitty cats couldn't wait to get outside and ride their sleds and play on their slide. Oh, good morning, darling kittens. Where are you headed this early? Out sledding and sliding. But it had snowed all night long, and the slide was completely covered. Um, where did our slide go? Well, let's just ride our sleds down the slope that the slide made. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> awesome time! <laughs> <laughs> but their sleds sank right down into the loose snow. This is much harder than sliding on our slide. Hey, I think I can see it under here. <laughs> Let's dig it out then, all right? It'll be easy. Let's do this. <gasps> but digging out the slide turned out to be harder than they thought. <laughs> It'll be summer before we're done with this. Daddy! Yeah. Daddy! Will you take the slide out from the snow with us? Yeah, I'd be happy to. As soon as I finish watching this exciting snowboard show. Man number three is shredding and speeding his way down the slope. What a run! Oh, wow! I want to snowboard on our slide! Eh, a snowboard requires a much larger slope. Our slide just isn't big or safe enough. Well, at the moment, we haven't got a slide at all. Mommy! Mommy! Mommy. Can you help us dig out our slide from under the snow? I'm sorry, my darlings. I'm late for the gym. If the snow is covering the slide, why don't you play, uh, something else? But the kitty cats didn't want to play something else. I heard that if you put salt on snow, the snow will totally melt. What if the salt melted the slide, too? 
Well, maybe we should just get a bulldozer. Our slide would be out of the snow in no time. I think a bulldozer would clear away more than just the snow. Hey, hey our, our slide! slide! Then we need to make a snowball that's truly, really huge. Then roll it down the slide to clean off the snow. What, what a, a great, great idea! idea. Now that is an impressive ball of snow. All that's left is for us to roll it down. And push, and push, and go. <laughs> Who's there? Hmm, that's strange. No one's here. Aww. Now the slide was covered in more snow than ever. Even a bulldozer couldn't dig our slide out of that enormous mountain. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Can I get a little help up here? Hey, that's Daddy's snowboard. It turned out Daddy's snowboard was perfect for riding on loose snow. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> My class at the gym was canceled, but riding with you looks more fun. Excuse me. Hooray! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Ha! Ha! Now this gigantic hill is perfect for snowboarding. <laughs> Just let that daddy cat show you how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Snowy slopes can be a mountain of fun, but they're even better when the whole family plays on them together.